Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Please pardon the surroundings. I am a mess. I was not planning on filming today. However, I just, I did my makeup and I'm not gonna lie. I really, I really loved it. And quite honestly, I've been sitting down a lot with you guys lately and I haven't really been wearing any makeup. So I just thought I'd give you a little show while we talk about Merit Beauty. So I introduced Merit Beauty to you guys in my beauty roundup video. I will link it up here as well as down below if you did not see it. I've been using these products for a little bit over a month now. I did receive them in January. January. I have a lot to say. So grab a snack, grab a drink. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Fortune. I just like, I love, 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 love beauty products. I am a girly girl to the T. I've always loved jewelry. I love fashion. I love makeup. And now I am just slowly but surely becoming a handbag addict. So that's where I'm at in my life. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, check out some other videos, get a feel for me. And if you jive with me, then subscribe, click the bell next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And with that being said, let's go and hop into my merit review video. I just woke up like literally 10 minutes ago, bought a package from Merit. And yes, I'm still in my stars above pajamas, best pajamas out there. But I just quickly threw some of the Merit products on this half of my face. Can you see like the subtle difference of this half, but just how pretty and honestly, what got me the most is the mascara. Look at this mascara. I didn't even curl my lashes and look at how nice it is. Put a little bit of blush on and then I used a different shade blush to just put a little bit of bronze up here. I used their like skin perfecting. It's not really a concealer, it's not a foundation, but it kind of reminds me of like a thicker concealer underneath my eye. And like, can you see just how that's like my eye, but better. I put a little bit around my mouth too. It covered up a little bit of the redness, but oh my God. And I have never in my life used a more natural brow gel. It's didn't clump, it didn't get all over my skin. First impression, I'm so impressed. Okay, I probably should have said this in the intro, but this video is not sponsored. However, I do have a link with Merit. I will put it down below. If there is anything in this video that you are interested in buying, I just ask that you go ahead and copy and paste the link from below. I'm just gonna get a little bit of a commission. So no, Merit is not paying me to give you guys a glowing review of their products. I am going to be totally honest. Like I would never sit here and tell you guys that I like something if I don't because I have integrity. And I know that a lot of you, in fact, buy the things that I recommend. So I would never, ever, ever tell you to buy something that I wouldn't tell my best friend to buy. I'm just gonna tell you how it is, even if it hurts your feelings sometimes, okay? And we can disagree. I welcome disagreements. So if you have tried any of these Merit products and you feel differently than me, do be sure to let us all know in the comments down below because knowledge is power. And not all of us have the same skin type. Not all of us have the same makeup taste. Merit, if you know nothing about them, I will tell you a little bit from their website. They have a beautiful website. I highly recommend going and checking it out. It's so nice, so clean, so fresh. It just like makes me feel calm, gives my anxiety, a hint of relaxation for some reason. I don't know. The antidote to the oversaturated worlds of beauty. Their whole like shtick is that they believe in natural makeup, create products that are safe for the body, the skin, and the planet, which I love. They're EU approved, they're Sephora clean compliant, vegan, cruelty free, certified by Leaping Bunny, and they aim to eliminate as much virgin plastic as possible from their products, operations, and shipment packaging. Let's talk about these first because these were very confusing for me, okay? And it took me a hot minute to figure out how to use them. It's literally called The Minimalist, not a foundation or a concealer, but it'll replace both in your makeup kit. Now, I really, I can stand behind that. I think that this really will. However, I think you need to have a certain type of skin in place of all over coverage so you can make small edits only where you need them. So this is like correcting. You're not smothering this all over your face, which makes sense because the applicator is very, very tiny. And I always, this is something packaging wise that personally annoys me and you know, I'm gonna talk about it. But the packaging is really nice. You will notice down here though, that this one started peeling. I don't know, like the gray is on a white component, obviously. And I think it just started chipping. That's really the word I should say in my bag, I guess, because I do bring this to and from work. So I commute an hour and a half. It's strenuous on me, okay? So I'll allow it to be strenuous on my makeup products. This describes me actually perfectly to a T while commuting to and from my job, like irritated and just, 
busted looking because I have so much anxiety and I'm so upset to be doing it. But anyway, not only is it scratched, but the ends look very similar. And the way to know which one the top is, is to look for the logo and pull it off. But I cannot tell you how many times I've tried to pull the bottom off and I'm just like, why the f won't this come off? So this is expensive guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. This whole brand is very expensive, $38 for just one of these. And the fact of the matter is that you don't get a lot. 0 0.03 ounces. Foundations are usually one ounce. So you're not getting a lot and it is expensive and I will not lie to you. However, I think that a big reason is one, the packaging is real nice, okay? It is really nice. And two, it's clean. This can also double as a contour to sculpt and define. Lightweight, hydrating formula wears throughout the day without settling into fine lines. If you only go in with an itty bitty bit, you don't need to powder. If you go in with too much of this, you will need to powder because it is creamy, which means it's thick, which means it will move into your fine lines. I got two shades. I got linen and I got dune. This looks really good as a foundation for me when I'm closer to my period. And I'm just going to be straight up. Is it TMI? I don't know. But if you've seen my videos before, like I don't stray from speaking about the womanly cycle you know, cause it's reality and it plays a big role in my everyday life and any other woman's everyday life. Normally, how I classify my skin, especially in the winter, is I'm very dry. I have textured skin in the sense that I get bumps from how dry my skin is and I get flaky skin. The week leading up to my period when my body is producing more oil and my skin is just more oily, this looks great as a foundation. When I am dry and just dehydrated from the inside out, it doesn't go well on my skin. And like I have very textured skin around my mouth. This is where I am the driest personally. So when I'm dry, you can just see that dry skin. I will say though, like throughout the day, it does melt into your skin a little bit more. I wish it was a little bit more emollient. I did not use this as a contour because I did not purchase a contour shade, but I don't think I would like this as a contour because it's not easy to blend. And like today I used the Ardell contour stick. Oh my God, it is like a slam dunk home run hit. I honestly love it more than the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. This is not what this video is about, but you just like draw that on your face. One, two, three, blend and done. This takes a minute to blend. Okay. So I would not like this as a contour. I don't like this as a foundation where you throw it all over your face and then blend it out with a brush. I like it as a foundation on my face to spot treat, like Merit says to do it, but to blend it with my fingers. I'm gonna be honest. That's just how it pairs well with my dry skin. Using the warmth of your finger really helps to melt any kind of product. And if you're someone that has dry skin, we tend to like thinner products because that shows less texture. It irritates the skin less because it lets the skin breathe. We don't like creamy thick formulas because that prevents the skin from breathing. So this is a thick product, like I said. So thin it down with your finger and apply it to your face. If you're someone that has combination leaning oily skin. You will like this. I think you could draw all over your face with it, blends it out with a nice brush. I would not blend this out with a sponge. There's just not enough pigmentation to blend this out with a sponge. The sponge literally takes away any of the coverage on your skin. Brushes if you're oily, fingertips if you are dry. You can make this work. I really think that I will love this product in the summer when I'm just naturally a little bit more moist. And I love saying that word because I know that it drives people crazy. So I'm just going to keep saying it. My favorite way to use this, what shades did I use? I used linen. And what I did was I put a little bit of my NARS creamy concealer underneath my eyes. And I just wanted a little bit more extra coverage and a little bit more kind of like creamy texture because it is very hydrating. Okay. Just, it doesn't look good over very textured skin. So my under eyes are doing really well right now. Okay. But what I did today was I used my NARS creamy radiant concealer underneath my eyes. And I only like to put a little bit of that. I try to put very little concealer underneath my eyes just because I do have fine lines and I tend to look older when I put too much concealer on. I know I have to practice Italian. My phone is reminding me. And then I took some of linen and I pressed it just along the perimeter of my dark circles. And this just covered what the NARS concealer wasn't covering. My skin can be dry, but I have pretty well behaved skin. I rarely break out, okay, knock on wood. I do have things to cover, but I am definitely someone that can get away with spot covering. So if you're someone that just has issues, with your face, and I'm not trying to be mean when I say that, but if you're someone's got a lot of acne and you wanna cover it, I don't think this is it. 
sis. I don't think this is it. The Flush Bomb Cheek Color. I got two shades, Beverly Hills and Terracotta. Terracotta is not a good blush shade for me, but this is a bronzer shade for me. I don't love it as a bronzer, I'm gonna be honest. I do find that this is more emollient than the complexion perfectors. That's just what I'm gonna call them. Sometimes this did get splotchy blotchy. Granted guys, when I wore this makeup, I was going to work and I had this makeup on for like 10 hours. So it'd be really great for the first six, seven hours. But then once the eight hour mark hit, like things start to fade. And that's not like saying anything negative about this brand or the products. That's just how makeup is, especially creamy products. They don't last as long. This was really nice as bronzer. Was it my favorite? No. This will leave your skin dewy. It will leave your skin gleamy. This is a great work makeup. This makeup is just great for every day, okay? Just when you want to look natural and beautiful and know that you're using clean products, that's what this is for. I really love this blush shade. This is in Beverly Hills. It is freaking beautiful. And I cannot tell you how many people have asked me what blush shade it is since rotating this into my everyday rotation. It was hard in the beginning to let go of my Tower 28 happy hour because I just love her so much. Do I love Tower 28 more than this? Yes, I do. But this is really nice and I like the packaging. At first what I did was I would go in and just draw this onto my cheeks but I found that using my amazing little blush cream blush brush. I love her so much. Don't ask me what this is. It's so old and I can't find what the hell it's called. It's from Crown and I went online and tried to find one similar. I think they discontinued it. Don't hate me but just take a dome brush like this and pick it up from the I'm actually wearing this blush today, so I could just put on more. But I pick it up from the packaging and then I stamp it in. This is so, so nice. It just, it looks so nice, guys. Like my cheek is so beautiful. Like look at that gleam. I love this. I also use the highlighter that we're gonna talk about in just a second. But I genuinely think that the best way to use this is to pick it up with a brush like this, pat it onto your skin. If you do put it on your cheeks, I think the best way to blend that is honestly with your fingers. I really like this. I would definitely buy Beverly Hills again. I would definitely try other colors. I just don't know if I would continue to use terracotta as a bronzer shade, but I will definitely come back to that in the summer. Again, when my skin's a little bit more oily and just better. I think the highlight is the biggest rip off. And I know that sounds really mean. I, is it beautiful? Yes. Am I wearing it today? Yes. Is it it's nice, okay? I put it up here. I put it on the top of my nose. I put it on my cupid's bow. It's just, it's freaking beautiful. A dewy natural highlighter is in and that is exactly what this is. But this is the Day Glow Highlighting Balm. This is $30. I received the shade Kava. It comes in two shades. It looks really blinding on my hand right here, but it blends down really naturally, like it melts down really naturally. You can go ahead and use this on your face directly from the tube, but for me and my dry skin, that picked up texture, especially in between my brows. I always pop a little bit of highlighter here and on days where my skin was really dry and I took this and I went in like this, no. It didn't matter if I blended it out with a brush, with my finger, it just, that's not gonna work for me. If you have more oilier skin type than I do, I think you can totally do this. This was nice for the Cupid's bow really quick because my skin is not really anything there to be honest so I would just draw this on that was really nice but for my cheeks today and how to just get this to work for me take it on my finger like I would do with the complexion perfecter and press it into my skin that is literally what I did today this is melty very melty like the formulation of this is so beautiful like I wish you could just feel how like melty and delicious this is. It looks more natural. It doesn't pick up any texture. There is no texture there. It feels really creamy. It feels really hydrating. So I really love it. And I'm happy that I have it in my kit. The Ciate Dewy Stick that I've talked about several times here on my channel is 24. Is it that much cheaper? No. Is that one clean? No. So I understand splurging 30 for this, but you know, if you want to save six bucks and get the same exact thing, no offense merit, then Ciate Dewy Sticks is where it's at. This is really nice though, and I do love this packaging. I really freaking love this mascara, and I am shooketh that this mascara is clean because, guys, finding a clean mascara that looks beautiful 
and like elongates the lashes and gives you just the right amount of volume and doesn't leave you looking clumpy like that in a clean formula is extremely hard to find typical kind of mascara price like is it expensive yes is it in the range of every other effing mascara nowadays? Yes, it is sold out, Merit. Hopefully it's not sold out when this video goes up in case you are interested because I think you should buy this. And I also think you should use my link to buy it. Help a girl out. I do make these videos for free for you, okay? And mama would like some coin because I told you I got a handbag obsession and I have one in mind. But also I have student loans to pay and bills. So I don't know who I think I am with the handbag obsession, but um, it is what it is. This is lengthening mascara. I'm wearing it today. It is pretty freaking lengthening. I don't have a lot of lashes, but it gives a really nice amount of volume too. And at first I didn't like her and I'm gonna tell you why. Tint, it tints, what kind of accent is that? It tints, lengthens, lifts, no smudging ever. It doesn't smudge. The packaging is luxe. It really, I don't know why, it gives me like hourglass vibes. Anyone else? Basic, like standard wand. This looks like every Maybelline wand mascara I ever owned. It's scented. I really like the Ciate. And it's kind of ironic though that I'm saying another Ciate product that this brand reminds me of, cause I don't know, are we maybe catching on to something? Maybe, but I really like the Ciate XXL mascara until I didn't because it's really scented and I would find that not only when I would put it on my lashes, but when I would do other people's makeup, the scent, I don't know, sometimes it would irritate my eyes and make my eyes a little teary. And like when you put mascara on, that is the last thing that you want your mascara to do. I noticed it at first because I've been using the Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara and that smells like nothing. So I noticed it at first. Now I use this today and I gotta be honest, like I didn't notice the scent. I think I'm getting used to it. You can just keep piling on this mascara. It's never gotten clumpy, even from day one when I first opened this. And you know when there's a lot of mascara in a tube, it just, chances are it's gonna clump somewhere. This has never clumped. It has never smudged. I've never found flakes on my face. This might be my favorite product from the collection because I've really become a mascara snob. I really liked this as well. I have no idea how much this is. Volumizing pomade for your brows. This is just like a brow gel. I have to say, like out of all of the brow gels I've ever used, this is the most natural looking brow gel. Like it literally just looked like I went in with a clear brow gel on a good brow day and just lifted them up. Like you could not see, like, have, I really like the Essence Make Me Brows because the price is just right. And like I go through those like water because I use a brow gel every day. So I can justify buying that one over and over again because it's $3 and I gotta be honest, like one brow gel to another, there's really not that much of a difference. So like three bucks, hell yeah, that's cheaper than a coffee at Dunkin' nowadays, which I personally think is ridiculous, but whatever. But this is really nice. I like this. This is $24 though. That is a lot of Essence Make Me Brows. This pomade adds color, volume for healthy, fluffy arches. It does. It does. It adds a little bit of color and a lot of volume, and I don't know how it does it, but it's really nice. First of all, let's just address this though. Like this annoys me. Look at this. So this is the packaging, okay? You have this really long section and this very short section. And the wand is the long section. Like Merit, your products, some of them are, are pretty bomb. I'm not gonna lie. But like, can we get some more damn product in it? For the, how much money you get 0 0.08 ounces. Like I just, it's just that really frustrated me. I don't know. And every day, every damn day, I would pull it out expecting the short side to be the wand and go like this and then be bamboozled. So it's just annoying. I like the brush. It has, it's like a little Christmas tree. I like that it's tapered at the end. You can really get it in there. And again, I just, I really like how natural it makes my brows. It does lift them pretty nicely. They look bold, but naturally bold, which I feel like my brows are kind of naturally bold, but also kind of bald in some spots and that just fills them in. So I'm a really big fan. I really like the brow gel. However, like the mascara just honestly blows everything out of the water. But if you are someone who is really into clean beauty and you just want to be clean when you're just looking for a natural kind of makeup look, then I think this is a really great brand. Honestly, I was impressed by a lot. I've tried a lot of makeup and it's expensive. These products are expensive and you don't get a lot of product in them. 
So none of you might buy any of this, but I'm just, I'm keeping it real. Again, if you're interested in anything, I would greatly appreciate it if you would copy and paste the link down below. Let me know in the comment section. Are you gonna buy anything? Did you buy anything? If you were to buy anything hypothetically, what would you buy? What wouldn't you buy? I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you wear clean makeup? Let me know some good products down below. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave. If you enjoyed this video, you enjoy clean beauty, do be sure to give it a big thumbs up. This way I know what it is you like to see so I can film more of it going forward. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.